Hey everyone, thanks so much for getting me to 10,000 subscribers. Um, so this video is kind of my thank you to all you guys and for you guys to get to know me a little bit better. So without any further ado, let's get started. When did you start playing violin and how did you learn magic? Um, well, actually I first started on piano when I was around five years old. When I was seven, I started to pick up the violin. In the beginning, I kind of split my time between piano and violin. But when I hit high school, I realized that my piano um, wasn't really going anywhere and that violin was what I was really passionate about. So I quit piano, um, at least taking lessons, and I started to concentrate just on violin and that's still what I'm focusing the most on. And for magic, I didn't actually begin magic until eighth grade. And this was during the whole David Blaine um, street magic special. For the longest time, I thought magic was something that you had to have a kit and that you had these little cheesy props that you had to use. But my friend that I took the bus with started showing me these magic tricks just using a normal deck of cards. And I was absolutely amazed. And so essentially he told me he had learned these from some DVDs from a magic website. So he let me borrow one. From then, I just got really hooked and I started buying books and DVDs and started just practicing about five hours every day. How did you get the name Slightly Musical? Originally, the name I wanted to pick was Musician, which is the combination of magician and musician. This is the name I've been using for um, a lot of online video games, such as StarCraft and League of Legends. Except people used to call me Mug for short, and I didn't want people to be calling me Mug on my YouTube channel, so I decided to come up with a different name, Slightly Musical, which combines um, slight from sleight of hand and musical for the music aspect. And so people will get to know that I do both magic and music. Plus, I'm a huge fan of puns. How many instruments can you play? Violin is my main instrument, but by extension, I can also play viola and electric violin. And some other instruments I don't play as well um, are the piano, bass guitar, ukulele, and a little bit of clarinet. If you count beatboxing as an instrument, um, that's also something I enjoy doing. How do you pick the songs that you cover? They seem to be in a rather random fashion. Usually, I come up with a video idea, some sort of concept that I think would look really good. And then so once I have this video idea, I try to pick a song that reflects this video the best. Either the song itself has meanings that correspond with the video idea, or that um, the song itself has certain musical elements that would lend itself well uh, to the video. And then after I do that, I try to take the song that I've selected and adapt it to my style, which is this kind of orchestral, piano, acoustic -y style. There really isn't um, a genre that I prefer to cover. It just is a matter of what I think would be interesting, both musically and visually. How old are you? And do you have a girlfriend? I'm 21 right now, and no, I don't have a girlfriend. Hey man, can you do the song that goes dun dun da da dun dun da da dun 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 da da dun dun da da dun? Instrument sounds like very low violin, and it's pretty epic. Please, I'm not sure which song you're talking about exactly, but maybe it's this one. If it is, then you'll be in for a treat very soon. Will you be producing sheet music for some of your videos? I don't do sheet music for all the videos I do. Some of them I do it by ear. But if I do have sheet music, I will be sure to make it available to all you guys. Like this one. What cinematography tools do you use? For example, camera rigs, software, anything in general to produce your videos. As far as video equipment goes, um, I've been using a DSLR camera to shoot all my videos. I've used several in the past, um, all from the Canon line, and I just recently upgraded to the Canon Mark III. Um, for audio, I use a ribbon mic, or um, software that I use. Um, I use Final Cut Pro X for my videos, and Logic Pro for the audio. And if you're interested in more of the specifics of exactly what I use, um, check the description below. Hey Albert, what was the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you? Thankfully, it's been many, many years since this actually happened, so it's not as embarrassing anymore. But the most embarrassing that thing that's ever happened to me was in fifth grade, and I was at an orchestra camp. It's already the beginning to a very bad story. So at this camp, 
uh, we were playing hide and seek in the dark, which is already a terrible idea. The basic plot was we'd all hide and the person trying to find people would use a flashlight and they would try to shine the light on the people and the people who were hiding would try to scare the people who were trying to find them. And so essentially, we thought the round was over, so everyone gathered back in a room, but we forgot that there was one person who actually was still hiding. And that person randomly popped out and pushed me um, from behind. And so I fell forward and my teeth um, collided into the face of another person and it essentially went through his lip and chipped his front two teeth. So sadly to say, my first lip-to-lip -lip contact was with another guy and I sent them to the hospital. What does behind the scenes for collabing with Tiffany look like? Smiley face. Working with Tiffany, my sister, otherwise known as Rainbow Pig 2, check out her channel over here, is both fun and sometimes frustrating. Um, even though we generally work together pretty well, um, sometimes we bicker over little things like where to put the camera angle or whether we should add an extra harmony line somewhere in the piece. But overall, we both try very hard in order to present you guys the best music and video we can possibly create. And you'll be seeing a lot more collaborations from us in the future. Can you tell us a little more about your violin setup? My violin setup is something I've been experimenting with for many years. When I first started, I used a shoulder rest. But when I got into college, I started having shoulder problems because I was clamping too hard with my shoulder and my chin. So I went a year um, just using only the violin, but my neck is a little bit longer than most people. So I had to stoop over to kind of keep it secure. Eventually I used a cloth and used that as an added support, but it kept falling off and sliding around. So that wasn't ideal as well. So now what I use is this contraption, which you see in my videos now. And essentially it's two cosmetic sponges sewn together with a rubber band threaded through the middle. And essentially you just put it on just like this. And it's like a shoulder rest, um, but it gives you a little bit more freedom and flexibility. For my strings, I use these green strings, and they're called Everprotsies, which um, generally are used for solo violinists and give a pretty big and bright sound. Do you plan on attending med school soon? For most of my life, I thought I wanted to become a doctor. But after um, going to college and meeting a lot of people, and getting a lot more involved with music and with YouTube, my perception of what I want to do has changed significantly since then. In an ideal world, I would want to become an entertainer and do magic and music in my shows, but that's still just a dream. On the more pragmatic side, I want to either become a video editor or a music producer slash sound engineer and try to help up and coming talents. But if none of this works out, I have already taken all the pre-med requirements and I will try to apply to med school and see what happens from there. Oh, and finally for the moment many of you have been waiting for. The winner of Noteworthy is Tina Liu. So Tina, I'll be sending you a Facebook message as to how I'll be delivering him to you. For everyone else, thanks so much for watching my Q&A video and for all my other videos. It means a lot to me. And if you're disappointed that you didn't win a prize or you didn't have your question answered, don't worry. There will be many more contests and Q&A videos in the future. Once again, um, take it easy and thanks for all your support.